We are going to be looking at enclosing a rectangular field, which is from Chapter 3, Section 4, page 160, problem number 8. Beth has 3,000 feet of fencing available to enclose a rectangular field. We are going to first express the area A as a function of X. Well, first thing I always do with any type of problem like this draw the rectangle. Alright, now they want X to be the length, so that means this is X and this is X. Since the entire perimeter is, well, we could just call this Y. Why not? Our entire perimeter is 3,000. That equals our perimeter. Now, we need to find the area. We know that a formula for area, area equals the length times the width. Right? That means area equals x times y. Well, we need to get y in terms of x. So we could write this as a function of x. So I am going to take my formula for perimeter. Perimeter, you know, is the sum of all the sides. In other words, perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Well, our perimeter is 3,000. So 3,000 equals our length is x, so 2x plus 2y. If we take this and we solve for y, that means I subtract 2x from each side, so I have 3,000 minus 2x equals 2y, then divide by 2 everything, we get 1,500 minus x is what y equals, so equals y. Now, I'm going to take this 1,000 minus, excuse me, 1,500 minus x, and I'm going to substitute it in place of y into the area formula. So now I could say area as a function in x equals x times 1,500 minus x. I can distribute the x, and so I get a of x equals 1,500x minus x squared. And this is part A right here. Now, part B says, for what value of x is the area the largest? Well, if you think about this for a moment, for part B, if we were graphing this, since this has a minus x squared, means we have an upside down parabola. We want to find the maximum value, so that means we are finding the vertex. So for part b, we are to find the x coordinate of the vertex. So we use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Well, b is 1,500, and a is negative 1. So, x equals negative b, which is 1,500, over 2 times negative 1. All right, in simplifying this, we get 750. So 750 is the x value where 
um, it's the value where x is the largest, where the area is the largest. Now we have to plug this in place of x into the equation in order to find the y value, which would be the maximum area. So part c has us taking our equation in place of the x, we put 750. So a of 750 equals 1,500 times 750 minus 750 squared. All right. When we plug this into our calculator, we end up with 562,500. Since our units are feet, then the area is the maximum area is 562,500 square feet. There we have it. There is the maximum area that we can enclose in our rectangular fence.